Okay, hello cloud gurus. Clemson University has launched 1.1 million vCPUs on Amazon Spot instance. AWS Pinpoint has launched two-way text messaging. AWS have announced a new region in the Middle East, and there's been a huge number of Alexa announcements. I'm Ryan Krunenberg, and you're watching AWS This Week. So this week, Clemson University broke the record for the largest high-performance cluster in the cloud, and they had 1.1 million vCPUs in a single region using AWS Spot instances. You might be asking yourself, what would you need 1.1 million vCPUs for? Well, they were studying topic modeling, which is an important component of machine learning associated with natural language processing. And the researchers conducted nearly half a million topic modeling experiments to study how human language is processed by computers. And the vCPU count is comparable to the core count of the world's largest supercomputer. And no word as to how much this cost, however, they did take advantage of per second billing and the experiment itself took just under two hours. Also this week, AWS Pinpoint launched two-way text messaging. Now, what is Pinpoint, you might be asking? And in fact, I didn't actually know what it was until I saw this announcement. Well, most users, when they download an app, they use it once and they never use it again. And Pinpoint basically makes it easy to engage your customers by tracking the way in which they interact with your applications. You can then use this information to communicate to those customers using the channels that they prefer. So for example, email or SMS or mobile push. And it used to be one way, but now you can actually respond to your users in an automated fashion using text messaging. So AWS have announced a new region in the Middle East, and in particular in Bahrain. And last year, AWS launched new regions in Canada, India, Korea, the UK, and the United States. And they also announced that new regions are coming to China, France, Hong Kong, Sweden, and a second GovCloud region in the US throughout 2017 and 2018. So you can now add Bahrain to the list. This will be the first region in the Middle East, and it's going to open in early 2019. We've also had a new edge location, which is in the United Arab Arab Emirates or UAE and this will be available in the first quarter of 2018. There's still no region in Africa which is basically the only continent left on earth without a region apart from Antarctica but keep watching this space. And so there's been a huge number of Alexa announcements this week, including a new $99 Echo, which comes with a dedicated subwoofer, tweeter, and Dolby Digital surround sound. There's also a $149 Echo Plus, which comes with a dedicated home hub and Philips Hue smart light bulb. We also have Echo buttons, which are little handheld buttons that you push during trivia games, sort of like being on your own game show. We then have Echo Connect, which uh, allows you to connect your Echo to your landline to make phone calls. So even if you lose internet connections, you can still make calls. We also have a talking fish with Alexa built into it. And we have a $70 Fire TV, which allows 4K video up to 60 frames a second. And finally, we had the Echo Spot, which is basically a cross between an Echo Dot and an Echo Show. And it looks like an alarm clock and can make video calls. So that's it from me, Cloud Gurus. Keep being awesome, and I'll see you next week.